Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and if you love to make banners or perhaps you want to make a banner but you feel a little intimidated, well let me share a must-have punch with you. It's by We Are Memory Keepers and it's called The Link Punch. Now, I'm not sure how long this punch has been out. I've never seen it before. I don't know what I was looking for on Amazon, but I came across this punch and it had some really good reviews. Now, this punch will turn any of your die cuts, any of your tags into banners. So I got this punch for $10 prime shipping on Amazon. And it states it works perfectly with the alphabet punch board. Now, I don't have that board, but once again, you can use it with any of the shapes that you already have. The punch itself comes with two different punches. You have your slot or slit, which is the smaller image, and then you have the punch for your link. And this is how it looks on this side. Take a look at this banner I created. It was super quick and super easy. We are memory keepers. They have taken the guesswork out of making banners. I've made banners before and I've used ribbon. <laughs> I had to put thought into it. But with this punch, the only thing you need is your paper, your embellishments, and your punch. I used this Martha Stewart punch you could pick up at Hobby Lobby. I'll get the name in a second. And then I used other punches. The cupcake punch, another cupcake punch, and I used Martha Stewart bow punch. Y'all know what these are the Sweetheart Foam Hearts, and what else? Oh, my curly ribbon that's held on by these little cute clothespins that I added dots to with my Nouveau Drop. Because these are easy and quick to make and you could use any of your dies or punches to create banners, oh my goodness, Valentine's is right around the corner. <laughs> Send your kid to school with a banner for the classroom wall or perhaps for the teacher's desk. What about party banners, holiday banners? What about name banners? You could even create a little banner kit and send that as happy mail. Or what about wall decor for your craft space? Many of you may already have this garland punch by Martha Stewart or perhaps one of her other garland punches where her garland punches, they make banners. Well, if you don't have any of her garland punches, I wanted to do a simple comparison of the heart banner compared to a banner that I created with the We Are Memory Keepers punch. As you can see between the two, the heart banner doesn't have any spaces between the hearts, but the banner made with the link punch, it does have space. But you can decorate that space if you don't like it. You could also decrease the amount of space you have between each shape if you made your slit deeper into your shape. Garland punch is a cool punch to have. But if you were on a budget and you asked me what punch you should get, I'm going to say get the link punch for you can take any design, even your hand-drawn, cut-out designs, and turn them into a bag. And I just had a brilliant idea for all you mothers and grandmothers of young children. How about creating a banner of their hand-drawn art? Or what about a feet banner or a handprint banner of their hands and feet at different ages? Let me also share a word of caution. You don't want to make your banners too heavy. After all, they're held together by paper. I guess what you could do is adhere several links together as a reinforcement. You could also, once your banner is constructed, add your ribbon across your banner if you plan on making heavy banners. To make a banner, you take your shape and you need to create slits on both ends. And this is where you have to eyeball. And it may take some practice, especially if you're a perfectionist and you want your slits to be perfect on each side. Well, you eyeball, stick your paper in, and punch. And there's my slit on that side. It's not perfect with this tip right here, but I'm not bothered by that. And create a slit on the other side. 
and there I have slits on both ends of my shape. Okay, so let's do another one. Sometimes it's hard to know where you're punching, but once again, you have to play around with it. And a little bit lopsided, but once you add your connector and decorate, you won't even notice the imperfection. Now we need to create the connectors or the links. And I recommend use the heaviest paper that you can. This is paper by Paper Tray Ink. It's pretty sturdy. The reason why you want to use heavy paper, well, you don't want your links to break. And if you have thin paper, that's probably going to happen. And just press. And this is how the link looks. Now when you put your link and your slit, you want to put it in at an angle, like such, and then try to turn it, and then you could pull on it gently. And this is another reason why you want to have a nice sturdy link, because if you use weaker paper, that will tear when you pull it through. Do the same, and there we have a two-piece banner. And you can create your banner as long as you like. Now let's say you want to create a banner using a smaller shape, like the heart shape from this Martha Stewart punch. Now there is no way you can get this punch or get this heart in there to create the slits. But you can use tweezers. Now, if you're going to use tweezers to create your slits, and your mini shape, you need steady hands and good eyeballs because it's going to take some good eyeballing to pull this off. I guess it's not too bad. Flip it over. Okay, the slits are there. Not perfect. You can see when you work with the smaller shapes, the link can overpower your design because the link itself is a nice size. Hopefully, we are memory keepers will come out with a smaller link punch. That would be great. Well, I can't wait to see what banners you create with this punch. Now, I'm not sure if it's available at any of the local big box stores like Michael's, Joann's, or Hobby Lobby, but if any of you know where it can be purchased, please leave a link in the comments section. I'm gonna also link Amazon in my description box. And if you have benefited from my review, why not like it? Give it a thumbs up. Also, feel free to share this video. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so right now. Well, as always, I want to thank you all for watching and blessings.